Hi, I'm Greg Knighton, president of BTOD.com. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you our Herman Miller Aeron Classic refurbishing process from start to finish. Our Herman Miller Aeron Classic chairs come from major corporations around the United States. Once they come in truckloads, we unload them here in our facility in Weston, Wisconsin. And like you're seeing in the video now where we're unloading a truckload of Leap V2s, the Aerons come in the same way. Once they come into our facility, we actually start to inventory and then we're ready to begin the refurbishing process. As we begin our refurbishing process, we'll pull chairs from our inventory, we'll bring them down on the floor and we're ready to unwrap them. So we've got a chair here ready to go. I'll bring this chair down. and we will begin the refurbishing process. So at BTOD.com, we have a rigorous cleaning process for these chairs because they can be upwards of 20 years old. But before we can jump into that cleaning process, we actually have to inspect the chair. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna just look at the frame, make sure that everything is intact, there are no cracks. And the reason why I say that is because I wanna show you what one looks like when they do crack. So you can actually see on the seat frame, this crack going through the seat, it's actually on both sides. And it's through actually the, outs the other side, the outside of the seat frame as well. So this is a crack that's through the entire frame. These can be smaller fractures, but we wanna verify right away that these don't exist in the chair that we're gonna be refurbishing because this can be a major problem as we move through the process. And then also, of course, once you have the chair, if it's just started as a small fracture, it can grow into a large crack and that wouldn't be good for you, especially with the cost of the chair and the quality of the product. So once we've verified that does not exist, we're ready to jump into the chair and test all of the functions. Now, depending on the chair that you have, the functions can be different. But what we know is with this particular chair, we have five things that we're really gonna be looking closely at. Number one, we wanna make sure that we have the pivot function working on these arms. We'll also want to test the height adjustment on the arms to make sure that they're nice and secure. And then we'll move through the rest of the adjustments. Now, because this chair is going to have a replaced cylinder, we're not concerned with the height adjustment function. That's not something that we would test at this point. However, we would want to check the tilt tension, the tilt limiter, and the forward tilt lock to verify that those functions are working properly. Now, as we go through that process and verify they're all working properly, we're ready to move on to the next step with this particular chair. So we're gonna jump forward and show you what that process looks like because everything on this chair is in fact working. So after we've inspected the mechanism and all the functionality of the chair, we're ready to move on to the next step. But before we do that, we just wanna check the mesh. Just a quick overview. We will take a closer look at this mesh upholstery as we're going through the cleaning process. But number one, you just wanna make sure that it's still nice and tight, nice and taut, both in the back and the seat, and you wanna make sure there are no visible frays or any types of breaks in the mesh. Once you've done that, we're ready to remove the arm pads first. Once we've removed our arm pads, we're now ready to remove the back and the seat. So we'll start with the back first. This will make it easier to access the seat. So you can see we've got four bolts here to remove. So now that we've pulled off the back, we're ready to remove the seat. So we'll start with these two side bolts. And once those are removed, we're able to access the bolts in the back of the seat. And you can see that there's two bolts here. We'll remove these and then the seat pan will come off. And now the seat pan is off. So once we've got the seat in the back off, we're ready to start cleaning the actual chair itself here, the chair frame. So you can see this chair has been well loved and it needs some more love, I guess you could say. We need to clean this up. And this is where the chairs really start to show their age with just how dirty they are. But again, it's a classic chair and it's really solid product. So as long as we get this cleaned up, it's gonna look just like new. So what we'll do is we'll start with our vacuum. And if you've watched our other process video, you know we're all about clean vacs and dirty vacs. This is definitely a dirty vac situation. So 
Only dirty vacs go on to dirty chairs. Once we get further in the process, you'll see we've got a clean vac for all of the chairs that are ready to go out the door. So we'll take this. So once we've taken off most of the big debris on the chair and everything on the top of the chair, we'll start to wipe this down. But later in the process, you'll see when we flip the chair upside down, we'll catch all of the bottom of the chair too, just in case you're wondering. All right, so once we've got everything kind of wiped down and ready to go, we need to take off this mechanism cover. But it's kind of tricky taking this off, and if you break it, it won't go back together the way that it's intended to go back together. So what we like to use is these little trim tools, and you can get these at Harbor Freight. Um, you just really want to start to kind of pull up the cover and wedge this in this back corner. And once you get that, and then you can twist it and pop, and you'll see now that I'm able to get in there, it should just twist, pop off. Everything is good. I know it was loud, but everything is still intact. So these are really handy and they make sure that you don't break the actual cover themselves. So now that this is off, we'll just do a little bit more wiping down and making sure that everything is clean in here. So we'll just run the vacuum through it one more time and then we're ready to move on to the next step. So now that we've got the seat and the back set up here on the table, we're ready to pull out the screws and then we're gonna actually remove the mesh insert from the frame. We'll clean the frames and then we'll clean the mesh. So we'll go ahead and start with the back here first. So you can see that's the mesh back insert Go ahead and set that to the side. So now that we have our frames up on the table, we're first gonna go through, we'll vacuum this back frame. We'll pull the seat pad off. This seat pad, this is, uh, this looks like this is, this is an original one. Um, this one's actually in fairly good shape considering the age of the chair. This chair is from 2005, but as you can tell, there's a ton of dirt and grime and all kinds of stuff built up in here. Now, is this one bad? I wouldn't say this one's bad. We've seen quite a bit worse, but it's definitely not clean. I mean, I'm not sure what this is. There may be some soda or something in there, but there's tons of crumbs. So we want to pull this out first. So see there's adhesive on there. I'll quickly pull that out. And then this would just get tossed in the trash. And then sometimes you'll see too, there's a little bit of that adhesive still left on here. So we'll want to pull that up. And this usually comes up pretty easy. So we're going to start vacuuming out the frames. But you can see there's a ton of uh, dirt and hair. And you know, it's pretty gross what comes out of these chairs. But we're going to go ahead and clean these up right now and get them ready to go. So now that we've got these vacuumed up and we've got all the big debris out, we're ready to wipe them down. The vacuum does a really good job of pulling all that big debris out. And you can see I was kind of vacuuming the table. We're always just trying to keep the space as clean as possible with these dirty chairs so that we don't spread it around the shop. All right, so now that we've got the mesh inserts out of the frames, we're ready to start cleaning the mesh. So it's a two part process really. Number one, as you can kind of see, there is quite a bit of dust buildup on the backside of the seat. And you can see there's a lot of dirt and grime here sort of throughout the, the edges really, I guess you'd say. But we want to take off all the big debris first. You can see it's through the back as well. And these are parts that you really can't access unless you take out the mesh from the frame. So it's really important that the mesh comes out of the frame so that you are cleaning this properly. Anybody that's shortcutting it is going to be hiding some of these things when you get the chair. So we'll go ahead and fire up the vacuum.
All right, now that we have these vacuumed off, we're ready to take and start doing the upholstery cleaner to them, or taking the upholstery cleaner and uh, pulling any of the dirt, grime, stuff that's in the mesh. And you can tell there's a big difference. I don't know if my people can show a before and after of what this looks like just from the vacuum, but it's pretty significant before we started vacuuming. Now this will only get better as we take the upholstery cleaner to it and use the wand on it. Now what we're using for our solution is just, it's a really basic upholstery solution that's not going to be abrasive to the actual mesh itself. Um, it's scentless and so it won't pose an issue for you when you receive your chair. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the seat first, then we'll do the back. We've got the seat done now. If there were some issues inside the frame here, we've got this little detail brush that will kind of run through there. This one wasn't too bad, so we didn't need to do that, but we would kind of work through the edges because that's really where most of the buildup is. But you can see after we washed it up, it looks a lot better. Now we'll run through the back too, but I just want to show you something real quick, what this looks like when we're done with it. You can tell it's pretty, pretty gross. So these chairs, they have a lot of buildup on them over the years. So I think it's really important that you, you go through and um, you definitely take a wand to it and you use an upholstery cleaner to really clean them up. So we'll go ahead and run through the back. We'll set them off for drying and then we'll jump to the next step. So now that everything is clean, we're ready to start reassembling the frames. So this mesh has been dried properly and it's ready to go back onto the seat. But before we can do that, we actually have to add the new pad that goes under your legs. It's really important if you remember from earlier in the video, those are typically breaking down or already broken down and they're fairly disgusting. So we wanna make sure that we're always replacing those so that this chair could be as clean as possible. So we'll go ahead and reattach that before we put the mesh insert back in. So now that we've got the seat put back together, we'll move on to the backrest. We'll put that back together. We'll put the new lumbar pad in it. And then we're ready to reassemble this seat pan frame to the actual chair itself. And then we'll go to the next process. So we'll quickly show you what it looks like as we run through reassembling this frame. And then we'll move on to the next step.
So now we've got the seat pan all reconstructed and ready to go. We are going to attach it back onto the chair that we had taken apart before. So the first thing that we'll do, we'll pull this over the front of the chair, slide it back. We'll bring these arms up and then there's a bolt that slides in both sides. And now that we've got the bolts reinserted, we'll go ahead and put the nuts back on. And then we'll want to tighten that back down. And now we can reattach the other two big bolts into the side of the seat frame. This part can be a little bit tricky just because of the design of this part. This actually changed. It used to be just the bolt. Now they've got that plastic housing that goes with it as well. So you'll want to spin this in. Just kind of start it. Now that we have the seat pan reattached to the bottom half of the chair, we're ready to move on to the next step and Derek, our production lead, is gonna take over from here. So now that we brought the chair into the shop, we're ready to move on to the next step. You can see Derek's taking over now. He's gonna take this, flip this onto his table, and then he's gonna strap this down. Now we don't wanna reattach the backrest and because of that, there is some movement in the frame, so we need to strap it down. This cylinder that's coming out is from 2005, so it's an original cylinder, so he's gonna need quite a bit of leverage to get that out. And then once he's got that removed, we're ready to move on to the next step. Now that we've got the base removed from the rest of the chair, we're gonna go ahead and take out the casters first, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove that original cylinder. And now he's gonna take it over to his workstation and clean it up. So one thing that you'll notice is this is all original paint on here. So there are going to be some scuff marks on the frame. There's really no way to get around that. And we try to, we really try to stay away from doing too much painting just because of all the chipping that uh, we've seen happen from after the chair basically has been in the field for years and then we try to reapply paint to them uh, it doesn't take as well as the original paint and that'll show up well it looks good early on it doesn't look that great later on and so we'd rather just stick with the original look of the chair and again that's going to leave some scuff marks and some rub marks but overall they look really good when we're done with them all right now that he's going to actually take and wipe down the bottom side of the frame here And then once he's got that wiped down, he's gonna take the vacuum and run that over quick. And now we're ready to attach the new arm pads. All right, now that we've got everything wiped down, we're ready to attach the casters. Once he's got those attached to the base, he'll drop the cylinder in there. Now that we've got the cylinder back in the base, we're ready to reattach the seat mech. Now he's actually gonna test just to make sure that that cylinder is set properly and it doesn't sink. And because the chair was sinking, he's actually gonna adjust the set screw here on the top real quick. It's good to go. So he's gonna actually attach that cap back on the top of the seat mech. And then we're ready to bag this up. Now 
Now that he's got that into the box, the last thing we gotta do is bag up the backrest. We'll go ahead and slide this in the box. Then we'll put the assembly instructions in, put the four bolts for the back to attach it to the rest of the chair. And we're ready to seal it up. Now it's ready to ship out to our customer. Hopefully this video of our refurbishing process of the Herman Miller Aeron Classic helped you better understand what that process looks like and feel more comfortable with your purchase at BTOD.com. Don't forget we do offer free 30-day returns in case you receive the product and don't like it for any reason. Thanks a lot for watching.